Denver voters have shown a nearly endless interest in approving new tax and spend measures in recent years, except for Mayor Hancock's idea for a new arena. They killed that. But Denver's appetite for new taxes will really be tested come November. There's a sales tax hike on the ballot requested by Denver Health. And Mayor Mike Johnson is a step closer to getting city council approval to ask for another sales tax hike for affordable housing. But like with Hancock's failed arena project in 2021, City Council has some real concerns. Here's Mark Salinger. Council will now reconvene from Before the mayor's proposed tax increase makes the ballot, it needs the support of the people in this room. How many more fees and taxes are we going to put on the people? Judging by the questions from council members Monday night, there's still some work so to do. I'm really uncomfortable with the rushed nature of this. But to not be able to tell them what it's going to be spent on, I, I can't. I cannot, in good conscience, refer something to the ballot that is not ready. City Council voted 8 to 5 in favor of moving the measure to a final reading next Monday. I will be a yes for tonight. Of the eight who voted to push the measure through last night, at least two said they aren't sure they'll vote in favor of it again next week. Every year you wait on here makes this problem far worse. Mayor Mike Johnston now has one week to make sure he has the votes in City Council. If it passes next week, voters in November will decide whether to increase Denver's sales tax by 0.5% to fund affordable housing projects. What we feel is the overwhelming agreement that this is the single most important issue the city's facing. We know we have too many teachers, nurses, firefighters being pushed out of the city. The sales tax would add five cents to every $10 spent. The mayor says it would bring in $100 million a year for a city already short more than 40,000 affordable housing units. But some council members say they don't have enough specifics on how the money will be spent. This is not ready to go to the voters, especially not without some sort of guardrails around it. And we do not have a plan to be clear on what the money is going to be spent on. So it makes me wonder if we really know what we're doing by applying this money in the way that, well, we don't even know yet where it will be applied. The mayor announced the measure just one month ago. Now in one week, we'll know whether he did enough to answer the questions of city council members and if it will then head to voters. We have really unprecedented levels of transparency and accountability for this measure more than any other referred tax measure we've seen. Some council members also worry that this tax increase is being passed too quickly. Last night, council debated 12 new amendments to the measure and heard only about 30 minutes of public comment. Everything from who qualifies for the affordable housing to how many years this tax will last, all being debated last night, Kyle, with only six days to go before the final vote to decide whether or not it gets on the ballot. Is the mayor concerned that Denver voters are going to get asked in November, do you want to raise your taxes? Oh, and then raise the same taxes again. Yeah, so I asked him that today, and he's, you know, there's already that 0.35% for Denver Health that's going up. Add another 0.5, you're getting close to 1% there. He says he believes, like we were talking about at the top of the show there, that Denver voters have an appetite for more affordable housing, more health care. Therefore, he believes that they're willing to raise those taxes. All right, Mark Salinger, thank you.